There's going to be an NFL Plus streaming service? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Clean Tech, home of daily technology news and reviews, and today we're going to be talking about a potential new service, NFL Plus. Today's video is brought to you by Clean Phone. More on them at the end of the video. So, an NFL Plus streaming service is on the way. It could arrive in time for next season, potentially. Let's jump right in. So the NFL is working on its own direct-to-consumer streaming service, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell uh, told CNBC in an interview. Goodell didn't specify exactly what content will be available on the service, which he called NFL Plus, hence the name, but the league is aiming to launch it for the upcoming NFL season. We think it's very important to have a relationship directly with the consumer, Goodall said. Uh, we think we have a lot of content and a lot of ability to be able to do that. The consumers want it, so we're very excited about what NFL Plus is going to be. Uh, but it's really in an early stage. I think over the years, you'll see that it continues to grow and it will be an important opportunity for us to be able to speak to our fans directly. That's an important strategy for us going forward. As for when it might be available, timing will be for this season, at least in the initial phase, he said. Uh, the details uh, will wait and let you know in a few weeks. The NFL didn't immediately reply to a request for comment. In May, Sports Business Journal reported that NFL Plus is expected to launch this month and would offer live games, uh, though the available games would be limited to what you can see in your local market. So it's going to be obviously uh, geo-restricted, if you will. Um, the service is expected to cost around $5 per month, but a source told Sports Business Journal that could change. Uh, the service may also offer radio, podcasts, and team-created content. In the CNBC interview, Goodall also discussed the potential next home for NFL Sunday ticket, which is expected to move to a different platform after the NFL's contract with DirecTV for uh, the lucrative package expires at the end of uh, the 2022 season. Apple, Amazon, and Disney are reportedly among the companies vying for the deal, and Goodall told CNBC that I clearly believe NFL Sunday ticket will be moving to a streaming service. So, I mean, it's a nice addition uh, you know if you have a favorite go-to streaming uh, source and you know the fact that you know as an NFL fan you actually can get uh, the Sunday ticket on there I mean I don't, I don't see any complaints we really believe that these new platforms give us an ability to innovate beyond where we are today and make the experience for our consumers so much better Goodall said uh, it obviously makes it more available to our consumers and particularly the younger demographic, which is one of uh, which is one that we really want to get to. I think that this will make it more accessible, accessible for fans. Sorry about that. Uh, I think it'll be a better experience for fans, and we're excited by it. Uh, Goodall expects the NFL uh, will make its Sunday ticket decision by fall. Amazon, on the other hand, would make some sense as the new home given that it already has a major deal with the NFL for Thursday Night Football. Disney owns ESPN and the ESPN Plus streaming service, making the NFL Sunday ticket a logical fit there too. And while Apple TV Plus Friday Night Baseball debut uh, may not have been a home run, the company just announced a major deal to stream uh, every major league soccer match for the next 10 years starting in 2023, uh, including uh, that the iPhone maker is serious about upping its sports offerings. Uh, that's something that we also covered on the channel, so in case you haven't really checked that out, uh, make sure to do so so that you can stay up to date with all the latest tech news on that. But yeah, I do feel like sports definitely has a room on, you know, a streaming uh, sites or uh, content sources that you guys have, whether it be Disney, uh, Apple TV, Amazon, Netflix, whatever. Uh, I feel like sports definitely has a place there. And uh, the sooner these companies and these sports organizations, they realize that the better uh, for all these sports organizations to try and target, um, you know, the best of the best um, social or content uh, sources that people are already using and, um, you know, do some research and, you know, just um, make it happen because there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be very, very, very happy with, uh, you know, uh, that but 
yeah, that's just me. Let me know your thoughts about it down in the comment section below. Queen phone is the perfect phone for your kids because it allows you to manage everything on the phone remotely. It has tons of amazing features such as easily allowing you to pick and choose which apps and games your child can use, provides you access to active phone monitoring including SMS and phone call usage, allows you to control how long and how often your kids can use apps or the internet. You can even check their call and SMS logs including inbound and outbound calls and messages and it is the perfect way to manage their screen time. Check them out in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.